dance before you. The festive season has come. So let's enjoy the extravaganza of this day. We promise to take you to a colorful world of little angels, cherubim, dancing and training on the path of love. Hold your breath, dear parents, to witness the most sparkling performance of we little children. Welcome to Carmen School Bhagalpur. Sister Mary Sin, Sister Sandra, and Sister Asha to please light the lamp and begin this program so that this evening blessed with joy and success. Oh, Officer Bhagatpur and the wildlife warden of Vikram Shila Ganchitik Dolphin Sanctuary. He competed the Indian Forest Service in 2018. He is from Vishakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. He has done his schooling from St. Francis de Sales School, Vishakhapatnam. He studied engineering from Bits Pilani. He is MBA from IIM Lucknow. He has over eight years of work experience in corporate sector. He is the recipient of the Pratibha Award and the Akhil Bharti Vidya Parishit Award for academic excellence by the Andhra Pradesh government. He had been the mess secretary in foundation course in RCVP Norhona Academy of Administration, Bhopal. He had also been the wildlife club secretary during his Indian forest training in Indira Gandhi National Forest Academy, Dehradun. He is a silver medalist in snooker in All India Services Post Me in Lasna, Missouri. His interests include movies, wildlife photography, and driving. Thank you. Chintapalli, our esteemed chief guest for this evening, Sister Merisian, manager of the school, Sister Asha, the vice principal, Reverend fathers, sisters, teachers, and my dear parents. About thousand bright and beautiful tiny thoughts of Kamal School Bhagalpur have been looking forward to this evening to accord to all of you a warm and loving welcome. At the outset, I extend a cordial welcome to you, Mr. Sri Bharat Chintapalli, Divisional Forest Officer, Chief Guest for this evening. Thank you, sir, for graciously accepting our invitation to spare your valuable time to grace the occasion as the Chief Guest for the annual program. Your presence is a joy and encouragement especially for our students. On behalf of the management, staff and students, I extend a warm welcome to you, sir, and I request Manasvi, our school, school pupil leader, to offer a bouquet of flowers as a sign of welcome and appreciation. I am excellence, a benchmark to measure co-curricular excellence and also a center which creates responsible citizens. Today, our school has become a dream destination for many. I wish to begin celebrating our success 
by expressing my gratitude to our Carmel family, whose vision, wisdom, and visionary zeal inspired all stakeholders to work with us with passion and commitment. We also remember with gratitude every one of those parents, teachers, and students who gave their best to build this edifice of excellence. The progress of any institution depends on a committed faculty, supportive administrative staff, a large pool of resources, responsive students, and cooperative parents. I am happy to welcome our reverend fathers, sisters, principals of different schools, distinguished guests, and other well-wishers. Cordial welcome to you, dear parents. It is your children who will bring joy to you this evening. I also take this opportunity to thank you for being part of Carmel family and for all the support you have extended to the school. In a little while from now, our little budding artists will appear on the stage and display their talents. Let us give them a hearty clap after each item to encourage them. With these few words, I leave the stage for my students to scatter beauty and grace to the August gathering. Sit back and enjoy the colorful show. Oh, but I, 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 but I,
our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth so early in the morning. This is the way we wash our face, wash our face, wash our face. This is the way we wash our face so early in the morning. This is the way we comb our hair so early in the morning. This is the way we put on our clothes, put on our clothes, put on our clothes. This is the way we put on our clothes so early in the morning. This is the way we go to school, go to school, go to school. This is the way we go to school so early in the morning.
wake up in the morning staring at a park where glaciers used to be, but then they did embark. Before they left, they did melt without any warning because of all the selfish people who cause global warming. I'm talking about glaciers being too small. Better say bye bye to them all because of climate change they fall. Now, now this change will kill the fish, wildlife trees, and the world needs to prevent this. Let's go. Vegetables and ice cream, mint, pistachio. That's a real good color, a really good color. Said save the environment because it's green. That's the color of asparagus and broccoli and peas and lettuce. And peas and lettuce, they're good for you. Save the environment, save the environment, save the environment, save the environment, save the environment. Save the environment. Allahu Akbar. Ya Allah, Allahu Akbar. 
ताकि हम सब बचे ये अपना संसार है वन बॉस वन बॉस फैमिली वन बॉस वन बॉस फैमिली
important values in our lives and become successful.
Today we are going to take you to the life of Peter and his family, a very simple, hard-working and God-fearing man. Peter lives in a nearby town with his wife and two kids. Now let's get a sneak peek into Peter's life. Peter begins his day with prayer. Lord, I thank you for this wonderful day. Lord, you have given me all the blessings that I need. But there is one thing that is missing. And you know what. I am going to ask you, when are you coming to my house? I want to see you and talk to you. He is now busy reading newspaper. Anna, where is my coffee? I am still waiting. Here comes your coffee, Peter. Enjoy it. Thank you, dear. It was during the time of Christmas, as usual during the prayer time they say, Lord, please come to our house, we want to see you. All of a sudden, he heard a voice, Peter, Peter, I am coming to your house for Christmas. Thank you, Lord. Peter was very happy and jumped with joy. Immediately, he called his wife and children. My wishes are going to come true. Jesus is coming to our home to meet us. I am so happy. We have three more days for Christmas. And we need to make all the arrangements before that. Dad, Dad, I will take the charge of decorating the house. That's awesome, Annie. Let's make some delicious food for Jesus. Sam. You are the in charge of preparing delicious food. Yes, sir. I will make chicken biryani, plum cakes, chicken roast and all that you need. were made for the Christmas and they were ready to welcome Jesus. Bell rings. Who is that? Brother, it's me. I am so happy to see you after so long. Thank you for coming, Margaret. Waiting and waiting, it was evening. Peter and his family seemed waiting and suddenly door fell. Hip hip, hurrah, that is Jesus at the door. I am going to open the door. As Joy opened the door, he saw a poor man standing at the door, shivering with cold. I am feeling cold. I don't have 
notes. Please provide me with wooden notes. Dad, it's an old man asking for clothes. Hey old man, go away. You are wasting our time. We are waiting for Jesus. Go away, go away. Peter shuts the door. Jesus, when are you coming? Jesus, when are you coming? I just can't wait to see you. The doorbell rings once again. It says Jesus has come. Wait and I will open the door. When Peter opened the door, it was a poor lady with a little baby in her arms. What do you want, lady? Can you? Sir, my baby is very hungry. Can you please give me some milk so that I can feed her? The poor lady walks away crying and Peter and his family walk inside. Peter, when will Jesus come? It's already too late now. I guess he will not come. God will keep his commitment. I know he will surely come. For the third time bell rings. understand what Jesus meant. I came in the form of a beggar asking for clothes to cover my body. I came in the form of a woman with a baby asking for milk and you didn't feed her hunger. I came like a stranger asking for a place to rest for a night and you didn't provide shelter. Oh Jesus, if we would have known it was you, we would have fed you and provided you the shelter. We are sorry, Lord. Please forgive us. I tell you, dear, whatever you do for others is always that you do into. Here we learn the real meaning of Christmas. Christmas means the spirit of love, a time when the love of God and the love of our fellow men should be prevail over all hatred and bitterness, a time when our thoughts and deeds and the spirit of our lives manifest the presence of God. Christmas is not a time as a season, but a state of mind to cherish peace and goodwill. To be plenteous in mercy is to have the real spirit of Christmas. If we think of these things, there will be born in us a saviour and over us will shine a star, sending its gleam of hope to us.
Maharaj Chintapalli, DFO Bhagalpur, to please come on the dais and address the occasion. Okay. Uh, respected uh, manager of the school, Sister Marisian, Principal Sister Sandra, Vice Principal Sister Asha, Reverend Fathers and Sisters, Teachers, Dignitaries of the school, Parents and my dear students, a very good evening to all of you. I feel honored and privileged to be invited as chief guest for the annual day celebrations of one of the most celebrated, distinguished and established schools in Bhagalpur. It gives me immense satisfaction and pride to stand before you today to speak to you and also uh, to see the skills and talents of the next generation, your children. They are indeed our future. You have organized this event, your children themselves have organized this event with the help of uh, the teachers of course and I am sure all the parents uh, here are very proud. I definitely was uh, looking at them, looking at all the performances. The children have indeed given uh, a lot of energy, they have spent a lot of energy and every act they were doing I am sure they were taking back something, they were taking back a lot of learnings along with it. I request all the parents present here to give your children a big applause for the same. Surely you should be proud. At such a young age, if they are performing their roles so well, even the sky will not be a limit for them in the future. School is undoubtedly the best time in anybody's life. It is our second home. Effective education in school provides opportunities to learn, explore various fields of study and sports. The knowledge that we gain in school today will make us rational and reasonable individuals which all of your children are, are already and will be. School opens the mind to a number of possibilities, to a number of options and situations uh, which will help them in the real world going forward. After school, when all of you, uh, when, when the children go to you at their respective colleges or other areas of study at a higher level, they will be performing key roles in respective fields. Most likely, they will be placed in different work areas like art, commerce, business, administration, medicine, leadership and even defense. All the subjects that they are learning here today including the extracurricular activities that we have just seen and also the sports that they play will add value to their career tomorrow. To do any job well, we need skills, knowledge and abilities. These are together called competencies. School is the best place to learn this. Going forward, uh, the children themselves will figure out a way on how to use their skills, knowledge and abilities in order to build someone and to be someone in their life and career. Mount Carmel is a state of the art school and I am sure that it will equip all the children uh, present here and also their parents with the much needed satisfaction going ahead. I don't just hope but I also believe and trust that the little cherubims of today will be the leaders of tomorrow. On this annual day the 17th of December, I along with my family members who have joined me today wish you, the students, your parents and all the good people related to Mount Carmel School a happy annual day to all of you. My heartfelt greetings for the coming festive season and coming new year. Aap sabo ko Christmas, New Year or Pongal ki hardik shubh kamna hai. 
in conclusion i would like to leave you with a poem that has motivated me a lot since childhood the road not taken by robert frost two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both and we one traveler long way stood and looked down one as far as i could to where it bent in the undergrowth then took the other as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear though as for as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black oh i kept the first for another day yet knowing how way leads on to way i doubted if i should ever come back i shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence two roads diverged in a wood and i took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference it was indeed an honor and an experience of joy to be here today thank you so much she was a woman of great virtues and her mission and vision of female education and empowerment are the reasons why we are here today her life was a constant source of inspiration to strive for what is good noble and lasting through this tableau we would like to present some glimpses of vocational journey of her life from 1823 to 1906 mother veronica i found her her parents were english and she was born in constantinople on 1st october 1823 the first crisis of the family was the death of her father shortly after she was engaged to a young naval officer but after listening to her inner voice my peace i keep my peace my peace i need she discovered that god wanted her to dedicate her life entirely to him i am become a sister so she broke up her engagement sophie loved to pray in the church the presence of jesus in the blessed sacrament attracted her finally sophie and miriam became catholics while her mother brother and catherine remained anglicans sophie's desire to become a sister became more intense and she eventually joined the sisters of saint joseph on 14 september 1851 she received her religious dress and was given the name sister veronica by father mari efrin sister veronica was sent to a village in brittany she enjoyed the company of poor and simple people and also loved the people and the students there After spending a year at Brittany, she was asked by a superior general to found a new house in Calicut on the coast of Malabar in India. So, she came to India in 1862, since 150 years ago. Not very long, just about two years. while she was in calicut she heard 
a voice that repeatedly says, I want you in calm. I want you in calm. She tried to find out the meaning of that voice through prayer and wise counsel and discomfort that God wanted her to found a new congregation, the Apostolic Karma. Soon after, she went happily to Carmelite Convent at Pau, France to prepare herself for the task she had been given to accomplish by the God. She says, Obedience is my life since it was God's will for her, confirmed by the Carmelite Superior General. Since she taught in Calicut, India, her heart was set to. So she sent three of the European sisters whom she had trained at Bayon to India. So the Apostolic Carmel was established at St. Anne's Convent, Mangalore, India on 19th November 1870. Years passed. For 32 years, she had relentlessly followed the common life of the community. Now, she was more and more confined to herself. My undying gratitude to God for having called me in the bosom of the church were the last words of Mother Veronica of the Passion. Inspired by the life and burning zeal of Mother Veronica, her daughters till date labor in India, Sri Lanka, Kuwait, Africa and Pakistan in the Carmel Apostolate of Education. The education mission of the Apostolic Carmel is directed to the total development and empowerment of women so that they may become leaders in society and agents of social change. Today, we thank our dear foundress, Venerable Mother Veronica of the Passion, for her faith and trust in God's providence to begin the Apostolic Carmel Congregation and our pioneering sisters who painstakingly established the Apostolic Carmel in India.
delightful evening to everyone present here. On behalf of all, I deem it a great honor and privilege to stand before you to propose the words of gratitude for being with us this evening and making us feel proud and more than above your love for us. Gratitude is the healthiest of all human emotions. The more you express gratitude for what you have, the more likely you will have even more to express gratitude for. Gratitude becomes love. Love becomes devotion. Devotion becomes surrender. Surrender becomes faith. Faith reveals the divine. On the recollection of so many great favors and blessings, I now, with a high sense of gratitude, offer up my sincere thanks to the Almighty, the Creator and the Preserver. I wish to thank our Chief Guest, Sri Bharat Chintapalli, Divisional Forest Officer Bhagalpo, for kindly accepting our invitation and presiding over this annual day of Kamal School, Bhagalpur. Thank you, sir, for being with us today and for your enriching message for our students and for our institution. We extend our sincere thanks to all our priests and religious of various congregations for your valuable presence and we feel elevated by your arrival. With grateful hearts, we recall the services rendered by our school teaching staff and for their total involvement in bringing up this evening's show. Without their generous service and cooperation, today's program would not have been successful. We are extremely thankful to all our dignitaries, special invitees, friends and well-wishers for your silent witness and a sense of appreciation. We are indebted to the members of the non-teaching faculty. Undoubtedly, your contributions in various aspects of today's event made a difference. Thank you for your unflinching support. Carmel School has proved its standard over the years as a reliable source of inspiration, even as it continues to inform, form, and transform its student community. It has been soaring high and touching lives. The credit goes to you, dear parents, for your constant support and cooperation in bringing your children for practice in spite of many inconveniences. Thank you for being the key players in our success story. Our special thanks to Pooja Light and Sound for the sound system that worked flawlessly Mark Tent House for making the event colorful and comfortable. Our sincere thanks to the media and press for always being there for us to give wide coverage to our program. We appreciate your effort to make our program reach the masses. We render our special gratitude to Mr. Gulshan and the team for the photography, video and live telecasting of today's event. Finally, we thank the blooming buds of our school for their energetic performance through various events on the stage. You are the central focus of not only today's program, but every moment of your stay in this temple of learning. My sincere thanks to our school manager, Sister Merisian, and principal, Sister Sandra, for the deep interest taken to celebrate the annual day with due honor. May God's blessings be upon us and the school to continue the mission of education. Once again, I thank all those who have given us their support, a helping hand, our volunteers and those who worked behind the scene as well-wishers of the school. Thank you and God bless you.
अभिभावकों से निवेदन